Well, for us as a company, the main things that we're looking for that drive our decision-making process for acquisitions or even licensing deals, investments in smaller companies, are really what's the quality of the science behind it, what's the stage, and by the stage I mean the development stage. We're much more interested in things that uh, are closer to market because we have a very strong organic pipeline, and um, that balances the risk for us because as, as, uh, as you're probably aware, most of the pharma development cycle is long and risky with some low probability of success. So to balance that risk out, we do look at acquisitions late, later stage, the quality of science. And we also look at specific markets. Most of the pharmaceutical markets, most of your revenues are coming out of really the three big regions, the United States, continental Europe, uh, the, the major markets here, and Japan. Those three major things, and plus, of course, the valuation. We need things in, in our industry to kind of pay back relatively quickly um, relative to the, what we could invest in in our own, orga in our own organic pipeline. Well, in terms of science, we have a broad background, so long as there's solid intellectual property behind it, so that we can have a reasonable length of time that we're going to have market exclusivity, balance that risk in the investment that we put into it. It's really, I think, a supply and a demand problem. From, from our perspective, there's a lot of... When you have an asset that's near... Um, near approval or a late phase asset where the risk, the risk is lower. Most of the uh, clinical trials have been done. There's a lot of potential bidders and there's a fluidity of these processes where, where potential interested parties will come in and go out. And then that there's some patience that is, that is involved really going in depth on the due diligence. And then when the supply is small as we all know and the demand is high, the valuations are going up. This is one of the things we're encountering. One of the other things that balances that out is really the creativity sometimes that we're finding with potential sellers. These are really private sellers, not publicly traded companies. Willingness to think about earnouts and royalty streams.